Helen Mino, Rosemary Gulliet, Antoinette Santos, and Josephine Cruz represent about 17 teachers that learned they are being displaced from Southern High School in the last two and a half weeks. Mino has been teaching for 40 years and has five years as a consulting resource teacher at Southern High School, working with special needs students. She says she's not complaining about being displaced, just the way it was done. There was no notice, uh, no discussion with administrators, uh, just a phone call from personnel down at uh, Department of Education. Without no definite reason, Mino will be transferred to GW High. Likewise, Rosemary Gulliet found out the first week of August she was being displaced to Jose Rios Middle School. She has taught at Southern for the last 11 years. She was told through a co-worker that she was involuntarily transferred and approached Principal James Petit. I uh, brought it to the attention of the administrator. I actually met with them and it was determined that I was wrongfully removed. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it pretty much just ended with uh, just, you know, the decision was up to him. Another concern she has is that limited term and contract teachers are replacing fully certified teachers at Southern High that have seniority. There have been teachers uh, that have been hired um, that are, are not certified, um, uh, are contract teachers, um, are limited term. Okay, so these teachers have replaced us certified teachers which is very concerning. Antoinette Santos has also been teaching eight years at Southern High and is being involuntarily transferred to JFK. She intended to teach 11th grade this coming school year and even took classes over the summer at UOG to prepare for it. Santos says she loves her job and students, however she feels the way she was displaced has stripped her of her dignity. And you know what, it's not the first time, it's my second time. I'm sorry. It's okay. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> It's the second time this, this has been done to me. You mean second time being displaced? Well, the first time was uh, from a middle school to Southern. Josephine Cruz was off island for summer when a colleague told her she was being moved to Ocean View Middle School. She never received any call from the principal or DOE. She also feels wrongfully displaced, especially after learning a contract teacher took her job. I really felt like we're not appreciated. That's right. You know, for for the, all the hard work we've done, and I know all of us have been there early in the morning before the kids do come. I know I, I come there early in the morning, a lot of times before the kids do come to school, and even leave late. Yeah. After talking to their GFT union representative, Dean Castro, the teachers plan on filing grievances. Castro tells PNC the teachers have legitimate concerns. He notes DOE must go through the seniority process when changes like this occur. According to them, and from my findings, and according to the contract, the agreement wasn't followed okay. between the board and GFT. He notes the change to the 3x3 three three block scheduling by the Guam Education Board is part of the reason for teacher displacement because a new bell schedule requires less teachers. Interim Superintendent Tiling Titano also reiterates Castro's explanation. However, she emphasizes there is a policy on placing teachers and seniority. I've asked Mr. Petit to document what his procedures were. I know that he was uh, in consultation with uh, Deputy Arlene uh, during this time. I would encourage the teachers if they feel that they have um, been inappropriately treated to follow the procedures for grievance to, so that we can make sure that, uh, that it's addressed. In the end, the 17 displaced teachers want everything handled professionally and for DOE to keep all teachers involved in any displacement process, keeping seniority in mind. We want a full investigation um, to occur and we want uh, hopefully the superintendent to uncover the, the real reasons, you know why we were uh, displaced. Why? I'm so tired of seeing things like this happen to good people, to good people.